Hello everybody and welcome to the Film Review Central channel with me, Kim Goodins. I hope that you're all well. This week it is the countdown to Halloween, the scariest time uh, of the year and I wanted to dedicate the channel specifically to some of my favourite and not as favourite horror movies. So uh, the rest of the week is going to be dedicated to some of the biggest horror films within the genre and today's review is all about a 2018 very silent film ladies and gentlemen here is my thoughts on A Quiet Place here we go <laughs> A Quiet Place is a 2018 horror that is directed by John Krasinski in his directorial debut and stars his wife Emily Blunt. Uh, he also co-stars as well in the movie as well as writing the film so Krasinski was all over this project and having the inclusion of his wife Emily Blunt who is also a phenomenal actress in her own right and this was a massive surprise in 2018. This was around the time when I was really getting into doing uh, movie reviews and looking at big new releases and I didn't check this one out in the cinema, but there was so much hype over this movie, potential Oscar consideration at the time. You know, I, I think that's very stretching a little bit too far in terms of Oscars. You, but for me, I went into this movie having heard all about that, but I thought I'm really looking forward to watching this film. And um, I really like very interesting horrors, very creative horrors, and this movie does exactly that. Uh, and I bel for me, on first watch, it's probably the most captivating horror films I've seen. And, and that remains the same to this day. I have tried to watch a lot more movies within the genre, but nobody's, no other film has ever captivated me on first watch as much as A Quiet Place. I've rewatched this movie for this review, and it just confirmed that. It was one of the one of the movies where I really did enjoy it from minute one and it never left me and I watched A Quiet Place Day 1 which you can see the review and my thoughts for that on the channel um, and that was kind of interesting to really compare the different styles between the two uh, but speaking about this one I think the sound choices and the selective things that he did with the sound were amazing you know the story really leans into that if that aspect of the movie didn't work then this wouldn't be very successful because the whole premise of the movie was kind of relying on very very intelligent and creative use of sound or lack of sound and I think the story was allowing intriguing moments very high tension moments use the sound very very well and it was a really intriguing journey with these characters not at all you know, creative in terms of getting from one place to another and all the challenges and tribulations that go through that. Um, I, I think that that's really, really interesting um, aspect of the movie that I really liked. Um, I think John Krasinski, as a as a director, he has such a real eye for directorial um, shots. I think the, the backdrop for this film really captivated the themes that the movie was exploring. Um, I think... You know, we saw Krasinski do the second movie, and you know he he's done a few short films, I believe. So he's really getting into the your directorial style within it. I think he's so fantastic within that, and I think the character development was the most underrated um, in the movie for John Krasinski's character. Um, and you know, whilst it's massively relying on Emily Blunt and her you know, leading style, he does a really, really great job in, in a very, very different genre for himself. Uh, Emily Blunt, I think, was really great. Um, of course, everybody will who have seen the film will speak about that burst scene in the tub. Like that is that's the highest amount of tension that this movie has. You know, you you just you see that she's pregnant throughout the whole film, and then when you realise that. that that is going to happen you're thinking oh my god that is something um, but for me it, it's a really really great horror movie uh, one of them will not be happily re-watching it is one of the most memorable ones uh, I did check out the sequel um, that came out in the midst of Covid so I kind of watched that in a bit of a smaller scale um, but for me it, it was really really great um, to see this world be expanded I'm not the biggest fan of the sequel I do want to probably get into that um, in terms of a, a review uh, for the second one but for me this f original film in 2018 is one of the most memorable horror movies that I saw a very very 
you captivating original horror film that I would definitely recommend to anybody that's just starting out within the genre and you know watching very different filmmaking. So for me, I'll be giving a quiet place a very very solid eight out of ten. So that is it for a review of The Quiet Place. Let me know what you think about the movie in the comment section below. Fill that with all your awesome opinion. Like and subscribe so you never miss any of the uploads. Uh, I will tag the review for A Quiet Place Day 1 and also a playlist of 2024 movie releases at the end of this video so you can check out the latest reviews and also make sure that you check out some other horror-themed reviews I've been doing over the course of October that includes Scream um, as well as well so we've got a lot more to come um towards the week of halloween so enjoy your halloween because this is not only the beginning for film movie central thank you very much for watching my name has been kieran Gunners. i've hoped to make the conversation about film and tv sound just a little bit more interesting see you in a bit <laughs>